All right, fellas, what's up? So doing another update video this time on the Cold Steel 10 shin. Got this stick about six months ago, and I gotta tell you, uh, this really has held up. It's, uh, you know, it's got all of the uh, functions that I would like, uh, you know, for a walking stick to have. It functions very well as a walking aid. I use this to, uh, you know, I, I live within walking distance of uh, a convenience store, a grocery store, and a branch for my bank. So when I go out there, it's just a matter of putting on a, a backpack and some uh, some running shoes and uh, just going out there. And I know what you all are wondering. You're walking around with a cold steel weapon created by Steven Seagal. How do you avoid trouble? And the fact of the matter is, I mean, that's the thing about walking sticks. Um, as long as you're using them in that manner, then uh, nothing should happen. I'm not going to sit here and say that I've gotten, uh, I've never gotten a second look. Technically, I've gotten plenty of second looks on this baby, but never of the suspicious kind. In fact, if anything, I get compliments, I get questions. You know, uh, that's a nice looking stick. Where did you get it? Where can I get one? You know, things like that. I'm always quick to tell them about the company Cold Steel. Uh, I tell them that this was uh, actually created, this was modeled off of something owned by Steven Seagal. That usually gets their attention. And uh, yeah, I mean, no one's ever had a, a negative or, I've never had a negative or awkward response to this stick. I mean, and, and why should I? I mean, like I said, it's uh, it's just a regular stick for walking, you know. Uh, you know, you can do it like so. You can even, I even carry it like this. And like I said, just as far as they're concerned, I'm just a guy that's, uh, you know, that's uh, walking and has a walking stick. And technically, uh, you know, this is actually something that is of use to me because uh, when I was in high school, I, I wasn't an athlete. And now some of my old ouchies are officially coming back to haunt me. I knew what happened one day. Didn't think it would be so soon. But it's happening. So, um, with that in mind, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's real good for when I just need to stop, just need to take some pressure off my knees, take some of the uh, the soreness, the sting off, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it works great. I don't really, I have, uh, you know, I have been in a few situations where maybe I I didn't feel the need to carry a stick and. I actually did end up almost falling down or uh, having to sit because uh, the pain in my knees was just so bad, and I didn't have uh, I didn't have my sticks to uh, to you know just get around a little bit more uh, more easily, and and that's not fun, especially uh, when you're as young as I am. But uh, yeah, um, like I said, I'm trying to get back in shape. Uh, you know, this stick does help. Um, you know, my knees, I'm really trying to work on my stomach. I, I used to have, before last summer, I had a nice flat stomach. I let myself go real bad last summer. I am working on it. Right now I'm at an age where it's, uh, it's still relatively easy for me to lose the weight, but as easy as it is to lose, sometimes I end up gaining it back again. And, uh, you know, it really sucks. Um, you know, for you younger subscribers out there, something I do want to let you know is uh, watch your food intake, guys. You know, you may think that you could gorge yourselves without consequence now, but around your mid, late 20s, uh, you know, that's that's going to change. Uh, you're going to go from being able to gorge yourself without consequence to gorging yourself and gaining some weight, but being able to lose it relatively easily to gorging yourself and gaining weight and finding out that it's not so easy this time around and uh, when you get to that point that's when you gotta basically just be more mindful of uh, what you eat and how much you eat so uh, what in addition to being a great walking aid I do use this for exercise um, I have like a little rotation a system schedule whatever you want to call it when I get this stick I basically try and incorporate its many uses as a, a weapon because this is kind of like a multi-tool of weapons. It can be used as a boken. It can be used as a club, you know, with the crook top being uh, the impact point. 
And of course, it's just under four feet. It's, uh, I think this is three foot eight inches. Uh, it can function as a Joe staff. Um, if heaven forbid I'm ever in a situation where I have to use this in self-defense, uh, it is nice that I have a weapon that I can basically uh, use three different types of ways. Uh, I'm not a martial arts expert. I mean, if anyone who knows about these things uh, wants to chip in, by all means. But my theory is that uh, if I am able to, uh, if I constantly switch the, uh, the way in which I use this in self-defense, my theory is that it would be so uh, disorienting to my attacker that that would be enough uh, to dissuade him from, uh, from any further onslaught. I mean, I know that if someone, you know, I mean, I know that me personally, if someone came at me with, you know, something that acted as a sword, then acted as a stick, and then acted as a club, you know, just, uh, you know, I would imagine that that would be very jarring, very disorienting. Uh, to somebody, especially if they were thinking, ah, you know, fucking hobbit with a fucking walking stick, he's going to be a damn easy target, you know. But, uh, you know, that's just my theory. Like I said, those of you who actually know about these things, I do welcome whatever advice you do have to offer on that. But uh, other than that, it's a great stick, multifunction, walking stick, Boken, Joe Staff, club uh you know uh steven seagal may be a bit of a pain in the ass as an actor but uh he knew what he was doing when he uh when he made this stick with cold steel and uh, for that i still give this uh i still give this stick two thumbs up and that's all i gotta say about that peace out fellas